Good morning, everybody. I'm reading Numbers 22, 7 and 8. So the elders of Moab and the elders of Midian departed with the diviner's fee in their hand. And they came to Balaam and spoke to him the words of Balak. And he said to them, Lodge here tonight, and I will bring back word to you as the Lord speaks to me. So the princes of Moab stayed with Balaam. It is clear that Balaam knew the Lord in some measure, and that had been the secret of his successful ministry. It was apparently well known that the things Balaam prophesied came to pass, which was why Balak, king of Moab, had sent for him. It seems inconceivable to me that Balaam did not know something about Israel and that they were the Lord's covenant people. After all, even Balak, an idolatrous king, seemed to know a good deal about them. So when Balak's messengers came with money in their hands to pay him to curse Israel, surely he would have known straight away that it was a non-starter. He should have said as much to the messengers and sent them away. But he didn't. He invited them to lodge in his house, and he told them he would seek the Lord about their request. He was going to ask God about something when he already knew the answer. Not only that, but the idea that a fee could be paid to a minister of God so they would speak the word of the Lord on demand was and is obscene. Balaam had allowed the love of money to get a grip on his heart. He had already compromised. Sometime during the night, God graciously spoke to Balaam. He asked Balaam who his visitors were. Of course, the Lord already knew who they were and all about them. But Balaam repeats the story to the Lord. And then God spoke to Balaam a very clear message. You shall not go with them. You shall not curse the people, for they are blessed. That should have been the end of it, but it wasn't. Balaam would not let it go. He did say to the messengers, go back to your land, for the Lord has refused to give me permission to go with you. He sowed the seed in their minds that were it not for the Lord, he would have been willing to go with them. So after a while, they came back with an even bigger offer. We all know the rest of the story. Balaam's life spiraled downhill, ending in his own destruction. But not before he had caused such devastation in Israel by teaching Balak to put a stumbling block before the children of Israel to eat things offered to idols and to commit sexual immorality. We can tell we have gone wrong when we start seeking the Lord about things which he has plainly declared in his word are wrong. We need to deliberately and, and violently, if necessary, root out any idolatrous desire that appears in our hearts. Thank God that he has given us these stories in Scripture to teach us these great things. Amen. Have a great day.